Alright, welcome back in generals to another Let's Fix the Generals Zero Hour to make the best game ever. We are still in the middle of the texture fixing polishing efforts. And I have been experimenting a little bit more with um, uh, with this upscaler here using, yeah, I think ONNX model I've been using now. So the first time I used this tool, which basically just chains functionality together um, using Python and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so I now took here our edited uh, Mega Mall, yeah, and I took here the 4X Textures GTA 5 model, which I took from a website, put it in here with uh, upscaling output, and that gave us this one here. Yeah, so this is the original, well, original edit. That's the upscale. I mean, obviously, it is looking better than this, but it also has a lot of artifacts, right? If you look at this thing here, for example, you are, <laughs> it looks wild. I mean, don't mind the alien symbols, but uh, we have a lot of, yeah, stuff here going on. And this one, yeah, this one looks okay. The windows also look okay to me. Yeah, apart from this one here, maybe. That's a little bit dirty. Yeah, because it's also dirty here. Yeah. Then it invents here some botched characters. Yeah. This one. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it can only do so much, right? <laughs> the the source texture is just really um there's not there's not much, <laughs> right? <laughs> there's not much to work with. Um but yeah, I suspect that this is still not the best it could do. I, I imagine there is more potential with AI. Yeah. I also made an upscale here of the airfield. Uh, this is a USA airfield texture, uh, which has a 512 squared surface. So that upscaled 4x to 2k squared. And that is actually really decent, I have to say. Here, the details look pretty cool. This glass looks good. These details. This. This. It looks, it looks pretty decent, I have to say. This upscale really works. Obviously, it also um, includes all the DDS artifacts in here. So that's... That's... Um, Maybe a little bit upsetting. Yeah, here as well. But but it's not bad. It's it really is not bad. So if we took this and we downscaled it to just one uh, k squared. That's one k, isn't it? Let me see. Oh no! Wait. Did I, did I downscale it twice? Ah, uh -huh. okay. So this is the generation. There we go. Uh, yeah. So this is a full generation. And yeah, I mean, here's some weird artifacts perhaps. Yeah. Here it did the best it could do, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. It really is not bad. And then we can downscale this to 1K here, which we looked at before already. And it's pretty decent. You see here ammo. Glass looks good. Details now here look good. Yeah. Yeah, this looks really good. Um. But yeah, for those low res textures, it's hard. Here it did a good job with the free. Yeah, sort of. <laughs> but 
but uh, yeah, it, it falls apart when the resolution is tight. Yeah, it tries its best though. Hmm. But then the problem is, if you now do a generation of the damage textures, it will differ in what it generates. So that's a problem. This we would need to solve then some some point. Yeah. Well, okay, it's not bad. It's not bad. Yeah. Uh, the website I've been looking at was this one, Open Model DB Alpha. And there are a bunch of models. I have only tried uh, the GTA 5 here, this one I've tried. 4X Textures GTA 5. Yeah. There I, I was wondering here, I saw DDS. Let's click on this one. PB Riffy Upscale. Hmm. Game cute and realistic rescaler. Low risk textures. It's nice that they have before and after images. Oh, this looks wild. I mean, <laughs> yeah, guess. Yeah. Okay, it, this one really works with super low res. Or oh. okay, this is probably more low res than what we have. Yeah. Uh, it's not bad. Not bad. No. What else do we have here? Let's get back to the DDS one. I wonder if there's a model that can um, like remove uh, DDS compression artifacts. Aha. It tries to remove compression artifacts. Oh. Let's see this. Okay, it's not much difference. Okay, it's really subtle. Okay, well, I wonder, yeah, it's really hard to judge this. Uh, DXT decompressor. Removing compression artifacts from DXT1 compressed textures. Uh -huh. Let's see this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, but the thing is, yeah, so like if you, if we just make DDS fixes and we just save as DDS, then it doesn't matter, right? Because if, if you resave as DDS, it reintroduces a compression artifact. So the fixing, the, there's no reason to fix this if we just uh, make changes and no rescale, right? But if we do uh, AI upscale, then this actually makes sense to first have the DXT decompressing, uh, decompressor artifacts to get it cleaner and then do the upscale, right? That, that order, yeah. So it, this model can make sense so that your first step you do decompress at the best it can, upscale. 4x downscale one two uh, x <laughs> yeah oh you can zoom in here that's good let's uh, make this a little bit larger here this website yeah 
Yeah, yeah, it's really good actually. Yeah, it gets rid of all the blocks here. Yeah, that's good. Restoration. Yeah. I wonder. BC gun smooth. BC one. Press textures in the engine sometimes have a green tint. Yeah. All right, this looks pretty promising. Oh, just a model for fabrics. <laughs> wow. Mm. Yeah. Actually, I wonder, I, I do have a lot of texture edits where the decompressor actually would have been useful, I think. Yeah. Hmm. Let's, let's get this model here, if it loads. Um, let's look for some upscalers. I think we need to spend more time here with testing this stuff. Um, so I have this decompressor. So let's say I take some texture, like the Mega Mall. Aha! We can actually, yeah, that's a good idea. We take the Mega Mall DDS. Yeah. Mega Mall DDS, and we compare this with the TGA, right? The original TGA. Alpha textures, um, CBN Mega Mall. Yeah. Put that in here. Okay, so here we take the uh, DDS, yeah. Then we change the model to um, we need the here yeah, this one. Me load model. I take the decompressor. Yeah. And then let's let's kill this. Kill this. Okay, so we move this. No. Load image. What do we do? I don't know what uh, what to do now. Maybe just save image. No. So we have upscale image here. 
But we don't want to upscale, we just want to... Aligns an image with a reference image. Uh -huh. Okay. I don't see a way that this allows me to process the image. Maybe I we have to use the upscale image and then and then perhaps that just doesn't upscale, but it just does the decompression. Let's see. That could be, yeah. Okay, so we have Mega Mall decompress, decompress. Let's see. Uh, let's run this. Okay, it runs. Yeah. I don't know how long this will take. The this this generation here took on my machine seven minutes. Yeah, it's very long. And this one took what was it? Eighty seconds or so? Something like that. Sixty six seventy, eighty, something like that. Over a minute. No. So yeah, I, th I think the problem is it runs on my CPU and then things are slow. And is this done or not? Yeah, it's done. Half a minute. Okay. Let's check it. Generation here. Okay, now I'm interested. How will this look? Okay, so this is... This is a DDS decompressed, supposedly. Okay, let's compare this against the TGA. Let's see. So we take here, this is a decompressed, and we put it here. Yeah, here. Let's see. Oh. Okay, it does even more clean up than the original. <laughs> uh, yeah, it loses details. Yeah. I mean, it's it's cool in a way. That it cleans up the image. But so, for example, here it creates blobs around the characters. Um, let's compare. So this is DDS decomp. Yeah. DDS decomp. This is TGA, original TGA. And then let's also get the, the DDS on top, which is this one here. Yeah, let's let's all take it in here to get a good look. So this is DDS original. Yeah. TGA original. Okay. So yeah, so certainly it's uh, quite blocky, the DDS. And we compare it against the decomp now. Decomp is much cleaner. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Much, much cleaner. Mm. It's not bad. It's, it's, it looks really polished. That's good, yeah. Yeah. It polishes this here. I actually like it. It's, I like it. 
But the thing is on export, it will make it blocky again, right? So we, we only gain, and I think this is really good idea before upscale step. Yeah. You first clean it with this. And then you upscale because then you get rid of the DDS compression artifacts for your upscale, which should gen then yield better results, right? So if we look at, so here we see like these blocks here, right? Ah, uh, we upscaled from TGA, I think. Yeah. Okay. Here we won't see the compression artifacts. Yeah. But we see them here in this one. Here, this one we upscaled from from DDS, and here we certainly see the artifacts in here, right? This is not not smooth. So I suspect if we use a decompressor before, we get much better results than on the upscale. Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, we learned something today. That's nice. I like this the way it upscaled this one here is pretty good. Mm -hmm. But I think this texture doesn't need as much upscaling as some other textures do because 512 for the airfield is actually pretty good. Yeah. Good. Uh, let's look at this here one more time. Here. Yeah. No. Here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I like this. This is pretty clean. Mm hmm. Perhaps we should uh, involve this into our workflow. Yeah. Hmm. It's very nice. On the other hand, it's not as important as long as we don't do the upscales, right? Yeah. Okay, but um, let's comp compare the decomp with the TGA. TGA has, so this is a TGA, uncompressed, right? So as you can see down here, we have a lot of details in here and then the decomp is much smoother for better or worse. That's actually interesting. So the decomp actually makes this thing look better, the window. Yeah. But it also here is, this is weird. See that? Let me see the DDS. Ah, okay, it's gone in the DDS, that's why. Yeah. Yeah. And we have to compare it against the DDS. Then comparing against the TGA makes no sense because it does not know what the TGA looked like, right? Hmm. But it's interesting how it evolved, right? From TGA to DDS and now back with AI to this, right? It got rid of the color artifacts here. That's nice. Nice. Ah, because here they are also suppressed. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. I will keep this in mind. The next time that maybe we can use this, then we can try to embed it in the workflow. I haven't used this technique yet with the decompression, but it makes sense, right? We get cleaner cleaner texture to work with yeah but in my opinion it does more than just decompress it's uh it's smoothing a lot more which doesn't have to be bad but 
just means more things change. But obviously the best is to have TGA textures. That's well, actually the best would be have PSD textures. <laughs> but uh, TGA is already a good start. Huh? Yeah, uh, I think it's good. I think the the jump from DDS original to decomp is pretty decent. Yeah, it's pretty decent. Mm. Yeah. Perhaps it makes sense to mm, perhaps it makes sense to create a generation of like decompress all DDS textures of original game so that we have a folder of DDS textures without the compression artifacts. All right. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, the question is, can we easily do this here? Yeah? Um, can we batch loads in here? Flip. Mm -hmm. Add noise, denoise. Hmm. It allows to do a lot of things here. Yeah, that's cool. Load images. Iterate over all files in a directory folder, batch processing, and run the provided nodes on just the image files. Okay, so we have some batch processing here. Load image pairs. Iterate over all files in two directories. And run the provided nodes on the image files together. can be useful for things like making comparisons of already processed content. Iterate over all files in two directories. Okay, I don't understand this. Let's uh, search for this. Our chain, uh, um, what was it called? Already forgot it. Chain, uh, load image pairs, load image pairs.
Number of images must be equal. Okay, uh, but what we can do is, I don't know what this load image pairs is. It's, um, who knows? <laughs> um, but we, what we need is, we need, we, we needed to somehow say, hey, we have six images. Take all of them and use them to create six new images uh with uh with all the different variants but use a account for all of them in one batch somehow so that that overlapping details are processed consistently Th that's a key so things that look consistent between images which is the pretty much the case uh with like the the garrisons and the damages right uh, details look very similar from one image to another and it needs to account for this somehow and I don't know if there is such a functionality with these tools or not it would be nice yeah and I think this load image pairs it, it's to me it sounds like it would be something like that but I don't quite understand it only says two directories hmm would need to be n direct directories, uh, infinite amounts. Yeah, unless, uh, well, I mean, two is would be enough if you say, okay, first I do undamaged with damaged, and then I do damaged with really damaged, and then I would do really damaged with rubble, right? So the, the four damage states, yeah. But there will be quite a lot of setup. Hmm. Okay. Um, anyway, let's um, do now here. Uh, hold on. Um, we have load image. Let's break this link here. Yeah. Let's let's make this window a bit larger so we see things. Good. So let's put here load images. Yeah. Then we click here and we go to super hacker generals files, generals zero hour, generals one eight zero hour one oh four. So this is both combined textures. Select folder. There are all the textures in there. Recursive, we don't need, but we can leave it checked. Use limit, no. Stop on first error. What does that mean? Instead of collecting errors and throwing them at the end of pressing stop iteration and throw them as error. Mm. Mm. No, let it let it run through. Show me the errors at the end, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and then we put it put it where? Uh, hold on. We need to put it here. Image. Yeah. And then we put safe image. Um. But now it complains, missing input, Na image name. Ah, here we can connect the name with this name. Aha. Aha, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. And we can connect this with this. Aha, aha. There we go. Okay, uh, we take TIFF, I think. TIFF, yeah, TIFF is a good idea. It's uh, uncompressed and has alpha channel. Yeah, then we put it here, 
let's put all textures uh dds textures uh what is the name e eh. d dds textures decompressed let's call this dxt the compressor what's the model name here this one so dds 1x dxt decompressor source blah 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 yeah okay let's put this All right, and then let's check if everything is good. Yeah, image. Okay, well, this will take a while, I guess. Um, let's double check that the, um, the folder that it wants to look into is clean before we run into any errors. Game files, lose are uh, textures uh, view details basically there should only be dds files in here and there are okay excellent let's sort by type oh no there are also tgas uh is that a problem mm, probably not no we simply don't care about the TGAs. Yeah. Yeah, let's leave them there. Okay, then uh, let's run this bad boy and see what we get out of this. Okay, run. Let's go. This better be good now. Yeah. It does say upscale image here, but it's not upscale, right? We only get rid of the decompression artifacts. At least that's what we would like to have. Generation. Yeah. Okay, it's already busy. Hmm. Maybe we can already take a sneak peek here at these things. Let's see what it's doing. Yeah. I mean, it, yeah, looks pretty clean. Yeah. Yeah. So I think it's interesting. Now, this could mean that we need to touch all textures again. <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe not. Uh, interesting. What would be interesting to see is here, if we go from one state to another, if things look consistent, let me see. So we have here, uh, 300%. Uh -huh. Why is this lower res here? 
แม่โอเค somehow metal wall is lower res yeah why is that um AA metal wall it shouldn't be lower res. TGA is pretty high res. Let me see. We already made an edit, most likely here in game files. Edited art textures generate map AA metal AA metal. Okay, it's not here. Metal wall. Um, let me see. AA metal wall. Huh. I'm a little bit surprised. AA metal wall. Metal wall. AA. Hmm. I don't see it here. A, A metal wall. Did we not touch it? Hmm. A metal wall. Mm. Yeah, so here it has a lower resolution, but I'm surprised that I have not fixed that. Or did I? I thought I did already fix all USA infection textures. Maybe I missed this one. A, a metal. Hmm. Let's see our. Ah. Uh. Didn't want to open this. Channel TGA. Okay, let's look in build, raw bundle items, optional textures, AA metal, AA metal wall. It's not here. Huh. Strange. Well, well, in that case, the fix would be to simply take these guys. Put them oh hold on builds core textures we need to look here AA metal 
No, I really did not touch it. A A Meta. That's weird. I've touched so many textures. <laughs> uh, well, art textures generate MIP. A metal wall. A A metal wall D. A A M W A. Okay, so this would be the fix basically. <laughs> Maybe. A A metal. Hmm. Okay, um yeah, let's take a look at this one. Aha. Yeah, let's take a look at these two. This is a good sample, I would say. Oh, this one is lower res. D. Oh. But only in zero hour, right? Oh. Okay. When this is done, we also, oh, um, I think we can abort this mission. Stop. Because we delete all this. The, the textures that I linked to, they contain generals with zero hour on top, which means several textures are getting downscaled because zero hour has a lot of downscale textures. So what we need to do instead, we need to go to here, this test folder, which I have here. And here I only have, I have all the, the high res in there. Maybe we should um, um, we should probably improve our folders here. We take this test folder and we put it to man too many folders. Uh, generals files. Um, generals, generals ZH 104, uh, largest, well, uh, so, uh, generals 108, generals uh, uh, all largest DDS textures. I don't know why my naming convention is so weird here. But okay, and let me put this in here. And then we move this here. I don't know what this folder is here for. I did some sorting uh -huh. for reviewing. Textures. 
Yeah, so this should be all. So here, if you go in here, we see we have the higher res damage here. And on zero hour, it's half the texture size here on this one, which obviously we don't want. Okay, then let's take this. And here we do our generation on. Okay. Then we need to close some folders. It's getting too much here. Too many folders. Okay, let's close this one here. Okay, then we change this folder to projects, super hackers, uh, game files. Largest textures, textures. Select. Good. Output, we keep this, yeah. And let's go again. Okay. Okay, well, this may take a while now. Maybe several hours, maybe days even. We will see. I mean, we have how many textures are there? 6,700. Yeah. Will be quite a bit of work. <laughs> yeah. Keep in mind, all these textures are fixed by hand as well. <laughs> so much work. Okay, but I'm really interested in like the results we're getting. If if the decompression from one damage state to another is flawless, then it means it's certainly usable for every kind of polishing we do. Yeah. If there are some weird artifacts, then we need to carefully observe. Yeah. And I do remember I, uh, most textures have really ugly artifacts, so. This one will benefit source files. Mm. And I think then also the upscale. Mm. That's really nice. That's nice. Mm. So we learned something. That's good. We learned something. Okay. Um. Yeah, the problem is that these five twelve square textures they probably take several minutes. My that's my guess. Mm. Aha, I just realized now we have um in general it's we have the DDS files already in. So perhaps the fix I did was Hmm. What is the fix? I I think this is not the right fix. The fix would be to put the the the, the, up, the the higher scale. Ah, hold on. They are already implicit here. Yeah, what am I doing? Here, they, here they are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm stupid, yeah. yeah. Right, 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 right. So they're already here. Yeah, yeah. Okay, never mind. Mm, this is actually a lot here. Yeah. Okay. Okay, then yeah, then we let it run, and uh, hopefully it does uh, good work. No. ETA two days. <laughs> well, at least it tells us <laughs> two days. 
for? Well, looks like this machine will have a little bit of uh, work to do next days. And then when it's done, we can take a look at it, at the decompressed DDS textures. Uh, decompressed in quotes. It, I think it does a little bit more than just that. But as long as the result is good, I'm good with that. Yeah. I'm good with that. Okay, let's see how far it got. Aha. Uh -huh. Got to this one here. Let's take a look at this one. Update. Yeah. Yeah, it does really well here. Mm. Really well. I actually think that in some um, textures, I even manually uh, fixed uh, strong compression artifacts so that the source texture would look a little bit cleaner. And obviously, this automation would really help a lot to yeah, not care about this. Just take this and it looks, it looks really clean. I have to say, let's compare this with the, with the original, which is where, which is here. Here. Let's put this above. So this is a DDS. Nice. It also changes color. But the, it, it wrote that, that it changes color. Because DDS does introduce color casts. So I wonder if this is actually helping us getting rid of color cast. But how does it know? Hmm. Probably the AI knows. AI knows everything. Yeah, but well, it looks really good. This is much, much cleaner. I think um, I think we are well advised to use this in our workflows from now on. Yeah, we see it as well here. It's much cleaner now. Very nice. Mm. Very nice. And then this, the, the, the big benefit of this one is when our source textures when our source textures are clean, we will also get cleaner upscales, right? So this one will introduce more artifacts here, blocky artifacts, right? And here everything is smooth. And so the upscaler will have a much better time. This is nice. This is actually really nice. Very nice. Um, yeah, this means that I have to redo a bunch of things here and there. Mm, yeah. I guess. Yeah. But it's okay. Basically, I would then have to go into the PSD files and update wherever I use DDS files, update that with this cleaner, cleaned up DDS files, which shouldn't be hard because, yeah, it's just labor intensive, but it's not brain melting. Yeah, but it gives really nice results. Nice. Very nice. Okay, now the next big question is, do we already have the next file, the D? Yeah, we do. Okay, let's look at this. Now, now the moment of truth. 
the moment of truth my friends let's take the uh, oh. where's the fire here yeah. so this is uh, D uh, uh, D comp D comp D right and this is uh, D comp okay let's put D comp D down here okay now a moment of truth I would say it's pretty good. It's pretty good, yeah. This is absolutely usable. Absolutely amazing. This is really amazing. Wow. Okay. I am amazed. <laughs> I'm really amazed. Fantastic. Okay. Yeah, so this has to become part of our flow. So instead of the original DDS, we will now always use TGA or these DDS. So in this order, DDS, uh, TGA, DCOM DDS, and no longer original DDS. Yeah, unless I find some issue at some point. But what I've seen so far is pretty convincing. And... I wouldn't know why this would not be true for the others. Yeah, this is really nice. This is really nice. Amazing. Okay. Yeah. And this will then get a better foundation for actually using our polished textures in the end to, um, to do the AI upscales, right? So let's say we have a set completed and all the damage states are fixed, everything is nice. And then we can use AI to upscale them, hopefully in a in a good way that it looks good, right? Yeah, so this is pretty nice. Whether or not it makes sense for the airfield to upscale, I am not sure. What I don't like about the airfield is that this texture has relatively little space which i think is a little bit of a missed opportunity this one should have been larger because the other texture parts are really small right in comparison compared to this so yeah that's not ideal hmm. yeah Let's look at this. See we here this one. Yeah. So you see the the house is relatively high details. Yeah, the hangar, the hangers. Right. Like everything is nice and shiny. But the the how do you call this? the the plain strip plain strip yeah that's not so nice yeah mm -hmm. okay Cool. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, 
I think the um, the the removal of the color cast. I think it's also correct. Yeah. So if we compare here AA metal wall, let's compare this with um with 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 the TGA. Let's see. So this is DDS and this is TGA. Uh, there's not much of a color cast here. Okay. I see none actually. Hmm. Okay, so it seems to be not always color cast. Yeah. Yeah, it would be nice to get some texture where we see a uh, color cast and then we compare it against the TGA to see if uh, after the decompression, if the color cast matches more the TGA than the previous T DDS. Yeah. And if that is true, then it's another thumbs up for this. Yeah, I think so. Okay, cool. Very nice. Okay, well then we let this um, processing do its work. 20 hours it says now. Okay, 1% is complete. Well, that's progress. I think the problem is that on my machine it uses the CPU. Right. It doesn't use uh, GPU. GPU likely would be lightning fast. Yeah. But okay. As long as it gets a job done, I guess it's fine. Actually, let's. Ah, it's okay. Good. Then let's close here the garbage. Yeah. Okay, then we can continue with our mega mall. Yeah. Mega. Our low res mega mall. This one, so beautiful. <laughs> this one. Okay, so mega mall. Okay, so last video we did the S and SG, right? They look uh, pretty good now. So next we can do mm. Mm. <laughs> um. Originals. Uh, hmm. Okay. Well, when we when we retouch older file edits, then. We need to keep track of which files we had already processed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One problem is that 
A lot of textures have this merged concept right here. Base texture merged. And so if we touch one texture, it will trickle down to all the others and it needs a lot of updating. So that will be a little bit upsetting, I think. Yeah. Will be a lot of work to redo all this. It's too bad that I didn't figure this out earlier. Mm. Yeah. But okay, it's okay. We can always go back and repolish. Mm. Yeah. We have already touched a lot of textures, thousands. We have merged, not all, but already quite a lot. Mm. Yeah. We would, I would need to... Mm. How do we track this? Um, <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Also, there are textures where I didn't touch all DDS textures. So a texture set, and I only touched a bunch. Now the question is, if we don't touch all, and we use uh, the decompression, and then we compress it again, will it look similar to the compressed originals? Aha, this is also something we need to test. So, so let's say we edit like D, right? And we, de we use a decompressed version. We make edits and then we compress it as DDS again. Now the question is, will the result look similar to DDS or will it look very different? Because right now with the edits we have, if we just touch the D and we export it again, it has the original compression artifacts inside. And so it will look very similar to 
any other texture in the set that we didn't touch, right? And so the question is, yeah, how will it look after this additional step we introduce? If, if the step is fine after, if uh, it looks good, After new DDS compression, then it's fine. Then we can definitely use it everywhere. If not, then we need to think about it. Yeah. Okay, but we also have a lot of texture sets where we definitely touched, touched all. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, yeah, I'm, um, It'll be interesting to see how this will go then. Um, I mean, we have to go back to some other textures, to older texture sets anyway, for the window barricades, for example. So, yeah. Okay, but uh, how do we want to do this? Do we want to go forwards and first finish forward and then go backwards? Um, hmm. Okay, and how do we document this? How do we keep track of this? In the pull request, I can write that uh, files uses DDSD comp or uses TGA. Yeah, I can document it. And then it will be easier to see when it's missing in the pull request, then we know this one needs another revision. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, we could do that, yeah. And basically what this will allow us to do is later on to create much cleaner AI upscales, right? Because right now, if we would do the AI upscales from the edits we have, we would always have the DES compression artifacts in there. Unless, of course, you first do the DDS compression step before, yeah. Which would be possible, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that's not the end of the world, I guess. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. But it's taking a long time. Mm. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, I think I will take a break now because I'm hungry. Um, yeah, it was a short video, a lot of thinking, <laughs> um, but I hope it was educational in a way. Then I wish you a great day or night. Until next time, goodbye.